All right, welcome back to the LCP Digital Learning Channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use digital animation within a keynote so that a student who is a little bit more artistic minded can use that creativity while still showing you what they know. So for example, you could show them how to introduce themselves and use animations like this. Or you can allow a student to use their voice and a digital animation to show what they know while using their creativity that might look something like this. A macaw is a bird, which means it has feathers and hollow bones. It lives in the rainforest and has brightly colored feathers. So as you can see, there's ways to use this to introduce ourselves, but also to use it in our content areas. So now let's go over how to do this. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is inside of Keynote, you're gonna open up a new document, and this is um, gonna be a white document. So I'm gonna use my presets, that's white background. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and delete everything on this page. So now that I've got my blank document, I wanna add an illustration. Now there's two ways to do this. I can freehand the illustration, and this is a great way to show movement inside of a slide. So for example, if I had a map on here, I could go plus. So I'm gonna to come to my icons, which is this button right here, and I'm gonna search for America. I'm gonna add this one and make it bigger. So in this situation, if I wanted students to show me the movement of maybe Texans during um, the Civil War, or maybe the movement from our first pilgrims and then how they came into America, something like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here to the top right corner, I'm gonna say plus, go over to the media tab, which looks like a picture, and then there's gonna be a drawing tool at the bottom of this dropdown. Now, you gotta make sure that your Keynote is updated. If you do not see the drawing tool, that means Keynote is not updated on your iPad. So I'm gonna press drawing, and then I can just use my finger. You'll see the drawing tools here at the bottom. So maybe I wanna use red and the crayon. So maybe I wanna show the movement of the first pilgrim. So they can come in, they can show that they started right here, and they moved over here, and they, over here and moved up here and then maybe these people and came to Texas and moved up here you know so they're showing those movements then I press done now this whole drawing is one piece so I'm gonna click that drawing and you're gonna see the word animate I click animate and then plus is the build-in that's how I'm showing this animation so I'm gonna say the plus and line draw now on this line draw before I'm done I'm gonna go over to options I can decide with this little um, scroll right here on duration, how long I want that drawing to take. So maybe I want it to show three seconds, and it's gonna happen when I tap the screen. So now I press done. When I go to play this, as soon as the kid taps the screen, it's gonna show the movement that they just drew. Okay, now if I wanna slow it down, I'm gonna go back to that animation, I'm gonna click line drawing, and then back in options, maybe I want it to take five seconds. So click away and done, and I'm gonna press play. Click. So now this is showing the movement of troops or the movement of pilgrims or whatever it is that you're wanting that kid to show. So now they're able to add some animation really quick into their illustrations, okay? The number two way to do this is if you have a pen. Okay, so I have a pen. You may have a crayon in your room. So let's add a new slide that's blank. Now on this one, so I can use the arrows, I can draw freehand, but maybe I want the kids to talk about an animal or to talk about a, a person that's important. So maybe we're talking about um, Rosa Parks. So I'm gonna go over to Safari and I'm gonna type in Rosa Parks. When I search, I'm gonna make sure to go over to images and I'm going to click on one of the images that I want and I'm gonna save this to my camera roll. So it's a long press, save image. Okay, so now when I go back into Keynote, when I go to plus, I'm gonna to go to the media, which is the looks like a little picture and I'm gonna choose the photo I want, which was Rosa Parks and I'm gonna make it bigger. Now this is a great way to be able to use media in your Keynote, but not worry about having something that is um, copyrighted. So now I'm going to go up to the paintbrush. The paintbrush works. Whatever I've touched, the paintbrush adjusts. So if I've touched the background and I go to the paintbrush, I'm adjusting the background. So I want to make sure I'm touching the picture, go to the paintbrush, and at the bottom on the style, 
there's an opacity, opacity, however you say that word, you're gonna scroll that back a little bit so it's a little bit opaque. So now when I go to my drawing tool, so either plus, add my drawing, or I'm gonna use my pen, when I touch, I'm going to draw Rosa Parks. So maybe this time I wanna use a pencil, maybe I wanna use it gray, and I'm gonna change this to be a little opaque. So this is gonna be my sketch. So now I can start sketching out Rosa Parks, and we're gonna fast forward so that I don't waste too much of your time. Okay, so now that I'm done, I've done a quick sketch. I could have added way more details, color, illustrations, things like that, using the different tools at the bottom, but for the sake of time, let's move on. So now I'm gonna delete the picture behind the drawing. So I'm gonna make sure I select the picture and I'm going to press delete. So now I have just a picture of Rosa Parks. I'm gonna click that drawing and I'm going to animate it, plus build in, line draw, and maybe I want this to be six seconds. So now when I go to play and I click, Rosa Parks is gonna come up as a animated drawing in my keynote. So what I can also do is add my voice talking about Rosa Parks during this. I could add some videos later, I could add some pictures. So this kid can use an entire um, plethora of ways to show what they know within their keynote. Videos, pictures, but now they can also use some digital animation. All right, so I hope that was helpful. I hope you get some ideas in your head of different ways that you could use this in your classroom to add some depth to the presentations that you're giving to your kids, but also allowing them to add some creativity to their keynotes. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. If you found this video helpful, make sure and hit that like button. To make sure you get more videos like this, be sure to click right here to subscribe and to click the bell to make sure you get notifications. If you'd like to submit a topic or concept for future videos, there's a link in the description down below. And if you're looking for more digital learning tips and tricks, make sure to follow us on Twitter.